video will provide an introduction to the Mindware Mobile, specifically when being used in Wi-Fi mode. We will explore the mobile, learn how to turn it on and navigate through the various features, set up a wireless network, and configure the mobile prior to data collection. This is the Mindware Mobile. On the front, you can see a variety of buttons. This center button with a little running man on it is used to turn on the mobile and as a select button. There are up, down, left, and right arrow buttons and two context dependent buttons, A and B. This is the top of the mobile. On the top, you can see a charging port, a charging LED, and an SD card slot. The charging LED will turn on when the Mindware Mobile is first plugged in. If the mobile is fully charged, the LED will then promptly turn off. If the Mindware Mobile is not fully charged, the LED will stay on until charged. To use the SD slot, simply push in the SD card. To remove the SD card, push in the divot with your finger, or if that is difficult, a pencil eraser is the perfect size. On the bottom of the mobile, you can see a variety of participant lead connectors. On the left are the two biological channels used for EMG, EKG, respiration, etc. On the bottom, in green, are the galvanic skin conductance connectors, and on the right are the cardiac impedance connectors. In the middle is the ground port. From this view, you can also see the belt clip that is attached to the back of the mobile. To turn on the Mindware Mobile, press the center button and the Mindware Mobile will power up. Once the mobile has powered up, you can see the two primary modes in which the mobile operates, local mode and Wi-Fi mode. This video will focus on Wi-Fi mode. You can also see that the two context-specific buttons now have labels associated with them. The A button will shut down the mobile, and the B button can be used as a select button. These labels will change depending on the screen currently visible on the mobile. To enter Wi-Fi mode, navigate to the Wi-Fi icon using the right arrow button and press either the Select button or the Center button. The Configuring Wireless screen will appear and you will see the main Wi-Fi mode screen. In the upper left hand corner is a battery indicator showing the amount of charge remaining on the mobile. In the upper right hand corner is a wireless status indicator which currently shows that I am not connected to a wireless network. There is also a clock showing current system time. Below these you can see the mobile ID which is currently set to the default MW mobile. We will see later how to change this. Below that is the SSID or wireless network name and then the status of the wireless connection. Currently the mobile is searching for the wireless network. To modify these you'll need to enter the menu. Within the main menu are several submenus. The first submenu is the Wi-Fi settings submenu. Then the system settings submenu where you will set the mobile ID and the system date and time. Beneath that you can return to local mode if you chose Wi-Fi mode by accident and beneath that you can power off the Mindware Mobile. First we will modify the Wi-Fi settings. The first Wi-Fi setting that we will need to modify is the SSID or wireless network name. To do so, press the right arrow button. There are two modes in which you can set your SSID, auto mode and manual mode. 
Auto mode will scan for available wireless networks and allow you to choose from the networks that it finds. To do this, navigate down to the SSID menu and press the right arrow button. It will scan for available networks. and then you can choose the network to which you want to connect. If your network did not appear when scanning for available networks, re-enter the SSID menu and choose Manual Mode. Navigate back down to SSID and you can use the right and left arrow buttons to navigate between fields and use the up and down arrow buttons to change the character. Once you have set your SSID to the desired name, choose Save. Next we will need to set the authentication method. Enter the menu. Next you will need to identify which authentication method and encryption method are associated with your wireless network. You may find this table useful in identifying the appropriate authentication and encryption. This table is also available in your Mindware Mobile Manual. Once you have identified the appropriate authentication and encryption modes, choose your authentication method using the right and left arrow keys. I will choose WPA PSK. Choose the appropriate encryption, then navigate down to the key and press the right arrow key. Use the up and down arrow buttons as before to choose the appropriate character. And use the right and left arrow buttons to navigate between fields. Once you have entered your network key, choose Save. Once your key is entered, choose the Back button. Finally, we will need to choose whether our mobile will be using a static or dynamic IP address. If you will be using a dynamic IP address, then you can leave the mobile in its current default setting. To use a static IP address, use the right arrow button, choose static IP mode, and then use the arrows to navigate between the various rows, use the right arrow button to choose the row, and use the arrows again to choose the appropriate field and modify it. I will be using a dynamic IP address so I will return to DHCP. Now that all of my network settings are correct, I will press the Save button and the Configuring Wireless screen will appear. The Settings Saved screen will appear showing that my network settings have been saved. Press the OK Center button and your Mindware Mobile will load the network settings. When you return to the main wireless screen, your network status will be searching. Once your Mindware Mobile has connected to your wireless network, the status will change to connected and you will see your IP address. The wireless indicator in the upper right hand corner will also change to indicate that you are connected to a network. Finally, we will modify the system settings. Re-enter the menu, navigate to System Settings, and here you can modify the device name, modify the date and time, and see information about your device, including the model and firmware version. To modify the device name, choose that option, 
And here you can use the right and left arrow keys to navigate between fields and the up and down arrow keys to modify the characters. Note that each device connected to your Bionex or wireless data center during a given trial must have a unique name. So if you have two Mindware mobiles connected, you will need to have two different names for those mobiles. Once you have chosen your desired name, choose Save, and you will return to the System Settings menu. You could also modify the date and time if desired. Your mobile is now configured and ready to collect data, which will be covered in a separate video. To turn off your mobile, return back to the main menu, navigate down to Power Off, and select. If for some reason your mobile would not respond or would otherwise become uncommunicative and you needed to shut it down manually, hold down the center button for approximately 10 seconds.